Ever heard of echinacea, or perhaps you've used it without even realizing it? Let's take a moment to appreciate this fascinating genus of flowering plants, fondly known as cone flowers. Nestled in the family of daisies, echinacea paints the prairies and wooded areas of eastern and central North America with its showy heads of composite flowers. But don't be fooled, its beauty isn't its only asset. Echinacea has been cultivated not just for its aesthetic appeal, but also for its role in traditional medicine. So, echinacea isn't just a pretty flower, it holds a significant place in our history and traditional medicine. The tale of echinacea is as old as time, its history intertwined with human civilization. The genus Echinacea, a group of flowering plants in the daisy family, was first described by the renowned Swedish botanist Carl Linnaeus in the mid-18th century, around 1753. However, the understanding of this plant genus took a turn when it was later reclassified by Conrad Moench in 1794. Over the years, the taxonomy of Echinacea, the science of classification, has been a subject of great debate and confusion. This is primarily due to the hybridization and morphological variation among species. Hybridization is the process of interbreeding between individuals of different species, while morphological variations refer to the differences in physical characteristics among the individuals of the same species. This complexity led scientists to delve deeper into the genetic makeup of Echinacea. DNA analysis, a more recent scientific approach, has brought clarity to the situation. It has identified 9 to 10 distinct species within the Echinacea genus, each with its unique characteristics and adaptations. Over time, Echinacea has evolved, adapted, and continues to be a subject of scientific curiosity. Echinacea isn't just a flower that adds beauty to our gardens, it has a far more practical application. Specifically, Echinacea purpurea has been used in traditional medicine for ages. Despite scientific evidence for its effectiveness being somewhat lacking, its use in home remedies continues. The plant is a perennial, growing up to 140 centimeters in height. It's characterized by hairy leaves and rounded flower heads, with petals ranging from dark purple to pale pink, white, or even yellow. Yet, Echinacea's existence is threatened. Natural populations are facing challenges due to over-harvesting and changes in their habitat. Certain species like Echinacea laevagata and Echinacea tenacensis are even considered endangered. So, while we enjoy the beauty of this plant and explore its potential medicinal uses, it's also crucial that we work towards its conservation. After all, each species of Echinacea not only adds to the diversity of our planet, but also holds potential secrets that could benefit us in the future. Echinacea, a flower of beauty, a subject of science, and a symbol of heritage. So, what have we learned about Echinacea today? This genus of flowering plants, known as cone flowers, has a rich history stretching back to when it was first described by Linnaeus in the mid-18th century. These perennials, found in the prairies and wooded areas of eastern and central North America, dazzle with their large showy heads of composite flowers, coming alive in the summer with hues of dark purple, pale pink, white, or yellow. But Echinacea is not just for show. Some species are known for their medicinal uses, despite the ongoing debates about their effectiveness. Today, the natural populations of Echinacea face threats from over-harvesting and habitat modification, with some species even facing endangerment. Next time you see an Echinacea, remember, it's not just a flower, it's a fascinating story of nature's resilience and human curiosity.